So now with T test, okay, T test the right tail, left tail, and both both tails. So actually, this all very similar, but now we have sample variant S square, okay, with sigma square. So we have uh, things we talk about. The T distribution is X bar over mu over S over N. This is T and minus one. So we have learn this when we talk about uh, estimation, right, and the t-test, right, so that is something uh, common sense of all, we talk about, in the estimator, we'll talk, already talk about this, so this is something we know already, and so everything is same, right, instead is t become uh, n minus 1, okay, so that is the same thing we have seen before, but now we replace everything by z alpha will be t n minus 1 alpha, right, P will be the same idea. So see the example, right? The graph is, which of the right is, look at the red area and the blue area, but now it's no longer 1.64, but it's 1.812. So which means here, if you have, uh, you don't know the population variance, then the rejection area, uh, it's much further, right? Which means that you don't know too much, then more variability, then you have to move a little bit further, right? Before it's 1.64, but now it's 1.812 for uh, 11 sample, right? Because t n minus 1. So here we have uh, sample size n equals 16, uh, x is sample mean is 5, and uh, sample variance 2, sample standard variance 2. Then everything the same, right? Look at t test is 5, right? Minus 4, right? And 2 over root 16 equal to 2. And look at the t table, right? Uh, because n is 16, look at n minus 1 is 15, uh, because 5% we are, you are using, so that's why it's 1.755. Then uh, because this 2 is bigger than uh, this critical value, right? So we reject. And the p-value, we can look at the p-value. Uh, when it's bigger than 2, what's probability? Okay. Uh, then we have a Pono 3, which is less than 5. Okay, look at, because be careful, you have to here have a look at the uh, degree of freedom, right? It's equal to 15, okay? Similar for the uh, left tail, okay? Same idea here, um, but you have uh, less than, okay? And here, the same idea before, you see we have n minus 1, okay? And everything the same, right? It reject if less than the critical negative of this t alpha, right? Uh, but it's n minus one here, so everything will be the same, right? Look, and then you reject also on the left side, right? So uh, look at the example. Um, uh, sample mean is three, uh, size sixteen, the standard deviation is two, right? You again do the same job, uh, 3 minus 4, right, over uh, 2 over uh, 16, right, is negative 2. Look at this, uh, the, the t-value, right, look at, because we have 16, uh, sample size 16, so look at 15, right, and minus 1 is 1.7, uh, 3, all right, that one is less than the set test is less than this uh, critical value, right? So that's why you reject, okay? And again, look at this, uh, less than negative 2 is 0.03, okay? Less than 0.05, so we again reject this action now. So what about uh, both sides, two tail, okay? Both sides, uh, the same idea here, right? There's nothing different, but uh, where, when you call rejection. So this slide the same, right? But only difference is instead of alpha is alpha of two, okay. So we have uh, everything being the same. You can check, all right. And now it's uh, much further because you move uh, the probability the two sides. So here we have uh, n is sixteen, uh, x bar is three, and seven is two. And uh, the now is again four not equal to four. V minus four. Uh, 2 over 16 is again the test that is negative 2 and the t table now is much bigger it's more than 2 okay so you can see uh, 
is different from before we fail to reject right because this is uh, the test the critical value right is bigger than uh, what we have so we do not reject again look at the p value bigger than two two times is 0.63 so it's more than five percent so that's we can't reject 